Hey, what's up, guys? I just wanted to uh, bring you a little bit about uh, Battlefront and maybe a little bit of information that you guys may want to know. Or maybe you're just passing through and you want to know a little bit about the game. I don't know, but let's get into this, all right? Now, in my opinion, I've played with a few of these guns already. I bought most of them already. I, as far as I can tell, um... You know, close quarters, they're, again, good for close quarters. The blaster pistols are really good at close range. Now, ultimately, the game isn't very close. There's not a lot of areas where it's close quarters. So, that being said, I would personally suggest using the EE-3 blaster rifle. It's a three-round brisk blaster rifle that is just good all-around weapon it's good for close quarters and it's good for range now I use this one as well where it shoots five round bursts it's a blaster pistol but like I said it's only good in close ranges and at best medium ranges it's not gonna be good for long range and if you actually do play the game it there's not a lot of areas where this gun excels at it's just close quarters that's pretty much it now this gun is all around great especially if you have the jetpack and you get on somewhere high or somewhere far this gun is gonna be really good especially when you're not using the cycler rifle or the pulse rifle cards which are over here and ultimately this gun is it's really good it's a little OP and if you like Boba Fett this is the gun he, you would want to use now, I've been using this one as of late. It's not that great. Um, it takes three shots to kill somebody. Um, body shots. One to the head, one to the body to kill them like that. Um, I mean, it's not that good. Uh, right now, I'm just using it to get a little feel for it. it it's not impressing me at all. It, it's very accurate, but when somebody's running around and they see you or something like that it's it's not the best gun i mean i'd rather use a cycler rifle as opposed to the targeting rifle because it takes three shots where the cycler rifle takes what two but i mean if you get one in the head that's it the guy's down um i haven't been able to use han's gun but i'm getting there i'm getting there don't, don't yell at me i'm getting there um now let me see i i use the uh the blaster pistol this one's pretty good uh it's high fire rate it does a, a pretty good damage at close quarters but ultimately it's um overwhelmed at distance uh there's too many guns that are just way better at distance than that gun um if i was gonna pick a gun besides the ee3 i would probably go with the uh a you know the the, the rebel you know assault rifle um, it has a high fire rate, good range. Um, I'm not really a fan of the uh, the standard issue for the uh, for the uh, what's it called for the uh, Empire. Ha, got it. Um, the it, it shoots a little too slow. Um, I'm I'm not really a fan. It's I mean this gun is not as good as the EE3. It basically shoots practically at the same speed. But the E3 is just by far way better. It has way more of a charge. You have way more bullets. This one by far out shadows, you know, E11, you know, Empire Rifle, whatever. Um, the Rebels is probably the second in line. It does have a high fire rate, so it's pretty much an all-around gun. Only good for close to medium range. It's not that good at distance. But, I mean, if you want to get a gun that's, you know pretty good i'd rather get this one than the e11 and then the e3 so that being said let's go on to the cards because i mean there's a lot of cards i i've been playing with a few of them i haven't really gotten to these mostly they're only good for weapon uh, for vehicles sorry so if you're using uh if you're doing the walker assault then this one you probably want to get um i really don't play it because i think the walkers are a little too op um they need to like drop their health by like maybe like 10% or something it, they don't go down that fast um the scout pistol is worthless um you can't kill anything with it 
even if you got both the shots on target, this thing does not kill anything. Even at close quarters, I, I've used it. it. It's just the worst. It's worthless. Don't even pick it up. It's a waste of money. So don't even touch it. Um, this thing has killed me one too many times. Um, it's really good. People kill me all the time with it. All you gotta do is charge it up and one shot anybody. I think it's just body shots will kill someone. But, um, I mean, that's up to you. I've been using the thermal detonator and the impact grenade just because I don't like people rushing me. So kind of chuck them both out there and since you have two of them they're not gonna run you so um as of late i've been using the jump pack though the jump pack with the impact grenade is hilarious because all you have to do is jump over somebody throw an impact grenade on point and it's gonna kill them and you're just gonna keep flying away it's hilarious man I i've done it a, sh a grip load of times and it is so funny um, but besides that, I haven't really been using it. I've been using the flashbang grenade because I like to disorient people. And, um, I mean, this grenade is really good, but I, I don't want anything. I kind of want to get something wider, but the flashbang does have its downfalls, which I will get to in a minute. Uh, use the jump jet, the jump pack, jump jet, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's really good. Gets you around really fast, uh, gets you into places that are really high and you don't have to like circle all the way around. It's really good. Um, try it out and let me know what you think. Um, I use this one right here, the Scan Pulse, because it's a team item. It's basically going to let everybody be able to see your opponents. It helps a lot. So I, I'd probably suggest that. And if I'm wrong here, then it lets you see everything around you. So if there's somebody, there's a bunch of people around you, you're going to be able to see all of them. Regardless of what they have, which is what I have right here. Scout, I love this. This is literally what I use every match. Because you can run and you won't show up on the scanner. After you get to level 2, your weapons don't show up on the scanner when you shoot it. So you can camp it no matter where you're at. Especially when you're using the EE3 uh, pulse rifle. Dude, this thing is going to keep you alive. <laughs> and all you have to do is just camp it, shoot everybody that you see. Um, I like using the flashbang because it it's really wide dispersal for the flash. And it disorients everything in, that, in, in your wake. So if somebody does see you on somewhere high, you just chuck this at them. And they're not going to be able to see you for, you know, 10 seconds. Then you start shooting at them and hopefully you can kill them before then. Um, anyway, I haven't really gotten to the bottom parts, guys. I know the cycler rifle is great, especially if you're going to start shooting people from high, you know, high platforms. Um, I haven't gotten there. This thing is a one-shot headshot. It's great, especially if somebody's trying to hide in a shield or uses uh, overshield for their character. I mean, this thing is going to put them down one shot. Um, I'm kind of more interested in using the barrage to just shoot grenades at people. I, I feel like this would be a little bit something more I would want to use. Or the uh, the bowcaster. But um, we'll see. I haven't really gotten there yet. Um, but as soon as I do, I will make another video on if these weapons are worth it um but anyway the uh back to this right here we got the scout the survivalist and the bodyguard and the uh personal shield i guess is pretty good ultimately you do get one trait and that's what i have right here which is scout you get traits to put on your character which are passive you don't need to take up a card spot as you can tell, you only get three. Um, this is just kind of like a side thing. It's a passive. So, I mean, right when you start it off, your passive is automatically on level one. That's a given. So, at a certain point, you'll go up to level two and then level three. If you die, it goes back to level one. Now, I kind of looked at most of the passives, and this one seems to be the best one, especially for me, because I like to run around and I don't want to be noticed by my enemies. So, that being said, I want to run around and just be invisible and shoot people, you know? Um, also, it, like, let's say Battlefront, or uh, not Battlefront, um, 
Battlefield or Call of Duty for that matter, I love guns with suppressors. This is as close as I can get to having a gun with a suppressor. Because as soon as you get to level 2, your gun doesn't show up on the enemy scanner. So that's, you know, great. That's what I want. I want a suppressor. So next, I mean, we have this one, which again, like I said, level 1 is automatic. So level 1, sprinting doesn't show up on the scanner. Number two, uh, for this one, your health regeneration is a little bit faster. So what? Decreases explosive damage by a small amount. If I was going to go with anything, I would probably go with this one. Because the only, and this is the only reason, level three decreases explosive damage by a large amount and blaster damage by a small amount. So you won't be able to die as fast as you normally would. Now, if you can get to level three, which is pretty hard to do already, that's pretty much a big bonus right there. You'll never die by explosives and I mean blaster damage is not gonna do anything to you. So I Mean if I was gonna go with anyone it would be this one or the scout because Survivalist isn't that good. It's kind of crappy and I wouldn't spend 7,000 on purchasing it. I'm sorry guys. I, I won't do it. I won't do it um, If I was gonna go with another one this would probably be my third one which is the low chance for a power-up with each kill that'd probably be my second one to get um no third third one because i mean eh, it's it's okay i guess I'm, I'm not really a fan unless you know you're really far away and this thing will help you protect yourself by getting a bunch of turrets around you but ultimately i mean it's not that good i mean i don't see any reason for it and we got this one right here, which is Sharpshooter. I guess this is a good one for, you know, people that just want to camp it out with a sniper. But I hate doing that. I don't want to stay in the same spot. I want to move around a little bit more. And if you stay in the same spot, you're more likely to get shot in the head. So, I mean, this thing is kind of useless for me. For me. So, I don't know. Anyway, that's my guide on this game, guys. Um, let me know what you what you liked, what you didn't like, and tell me if uh, I'm missing anything. Um, all right, let you guys go. Have fun, great shooting. Go shoot some guys, and uh, let me know what you think. Maybe my advice will help you. All right, later.